You've probably heard from many people not to wash your pans with soap or to scrub them. And to those people, I say, well, it's okay to be wrong. After washing your pan with soap, dry it thoroughly by heating it on your stove or in the oven. I put mine in the oven at 350 degrees for a few minutes until dry. You want to get all of the water out of the pan so you don't get rust. To season my pan, I turn my oven up to 500 degrees. Your cast iron pans are sturdy kitchen tools and there's very little you can do to actually hurt them. I purposefully abused my pan to get it looking a little rough for this video. And even with lots of rough scrubbing and soaking in soapy water, I was only able to get some cosmetic damage. This rough looking patch is still smooth to the touch. We'll add some canola or vegetable oil to the pan and wipe it down with a towel. We use a neutral oil with a relatively high smoke point, so skip the olive oil here. Make sure you get the handles and be sure to oil the outside and bottom of the pan as well. Place the oiled pan upside down in your hot oven and put a tray underneath to catch any oil drips. After an hour, I turn the oven off and let the pan cool. You can leave it overnight if you like. After just one round of seasoning, you can see the difference in my pan. I'm going to do a second round of seasoning, following the exact same process of applying a thin layer of oil and baking it on at 500 degrees. By heating this oil at such a high temperature on the pan, we are able to polymerize or bond the oil to the pan and create a durable layer we call seasoning. Now, can soap really remove the seasoning of your cast iron pan? The answer is, not really. We're using modern dish soaps, which are generally too gentle to really do any damage to cast iron. Thanks for checking out the video. Come see me on Twitch where I am streaming three nights a week, and I will see you next time.